Leaders across the Pine Belt have been working to prioritize mental health this fiscal year. Now the effort is continuing into next year with the help of local agencies and state legislators. Leaders in Lamar County say they are now close to breaking ground on a crisis stabilization unit in Purvis. Raven Little tells us more about that. Lamar County has been working towards transforming a National Guard armory in Purvis into a crisis stabilization unit since 2021. Now leaders say they are closer to breaking ground than last reported. And we've been able to put together a coalition between Forest County, Lamar County, the city of Hattiesburg, working with the Department of Mental Health and our state legislature. Uh, Lamar County is putting in a million dollars, Forest County a million. The two counties have also worked closely with state and federal government to get the unit fully funded. Forest County says ARPA funds made their contribution possible. The state legislature has helped us with a half a million dollars uh, uh, one session prior. Uh, this past session they've uh, allocated 700000 and then through the federal government, we were able to get uh, some con congressionally uh, directed spending of two and a quarter million dollars, which will help cover the lion's share of the renovation of the building. Coda Ray Construction won the contract to complete renovations on the armory. Now leaders say there are just a few more administrative matters to handle before breaking ground on the one of a kind facility. It'll, it'll have a 23 hour living room model hold, which will be I think the first of its kind in the state. We've all worked very hard to try to come up with a with a program that will be uh, uh, one of a kind in its state and hopefully be a model for uh, other counties. Forest and Lamar County Chancery Clerks and the Board of Supervisors say a local crisis stabilization unit will help patients recover a little closer to home while still being within a reasonable distance of a state hospital. We can divert them, treat them on the local level, hopefully, you know, so that they don't have to go to the state hospital. But but South Mississippi State Hospital is in purpose. The crisis stabilization unit will not be a long-term inpatient treatment facility. Medical professionals will determine whether someone needs to be transferred to a state hospital or can be stabilized with medication. In Purvis, Raven Little, WDAM7, on your side. Well, right now, leaders do not have an exact estimation of when the unit will open, but are hopeful that work will be finished or nearly complete before the end of 2025.